Uh, guys, time f time to show you what this can do. Right. What the fuck do I need to do? I uh, can't remember. Oh yeah, I was going to show you. Properties. So we've got the i5 750. 2.67 gigahertz. 2.67 gigahertz. 7 gigabytes. And yeah. I'll do this test again. That's the last scores, by the way. This is on the i3. These are the scores on the i3, by the way. 7.9 is the highest you can get. As you can see, the, all them tests were before fine, apart from the hard drive. So we need to sort the hard drive out. Get a faster hard drive. Let's see if we can get even higher score now. On the CPU side. <coughs> also because uh, there's more... Ooh. Could not measure performance, processor performance. That's very odd. Does this processor have problems? Oh no, it was just a bug. Because it seems fine now. Okay. It's nearly done. <clears throat> so the base score is the lowest score you get on the thing so my hard drive put it down to 5.8 because that's my hard drive speed on this 5.8 performance it's nearly done guys so yeah what I was talking about was uh the graphics will the graphics card will be able to use more bandwidth now because the CPU is gonna run faster. Ah, as you can see, calculation per second 7.3 from 7. Memory has gone up as well, so everything's been affected by it. It's gone higher, everything's got higher. 3D graphics is almost at full maximum, which is 7.9. That's really good. Alright guys. Next thing we're gonna do, CPU Z test. And then we'll put the scores into the word pad so you can see the differences if there's any there should be anyway so as you can see cpu cores wow look at that bus speeds 8 mb level 3 cache i've never seen that much so got four cores and four threads so i was wrong about it before where i said the other one has four threads with it whereas this this has four threads as well just two extra physical cores which is good okay uh, this also uses a bit more power, which is 95 watts, compared to the 70 watts on the other one. Uh, there you go, these are the onboard memories on the actual chip. Clock cycles are still the same, 1030 graphics. Alright guys, we're going to do benchmark now. Put it against that same piece, CPU again. Uh, put that on. Bench. Oh my fucking god. That's nearly double, guys. I'm not joking, guys. That's nearly double. The other one was 500 and something. Bloody hell. But the single core performance is still lacking. Intel needs to work on their single core performances. He has beat it this time. That one, but it's still not as good as it should be. So yeah. I'm going to put these scores in and then you can have a look. Right, guys, I filled in the information now. So as you can see, the single core performance on the i3 was 240. That's gone 270 now, which has beat the dual core CPU, which is really good for single core. But still not a big performance upgrade. But uh, multi core, that's fucking murdered that. 900 guys. What else gets 900? Let's see. Uh, let's try the i5 7500. Oh, that's doubled up, but that's brand new. That's literally brand new. Uh, AMD, what does that get? Oh, we beat the AMD one. AMD A10 APU. Can't beat that one. i7's too high. Let's see what's high end i9. Bloody hell. Look at them scores, guys. That's 18 cores. <laughs> 26 threads. Alright, guys, I'm going to run the Cinebench now. So you can have a look at that. The scores on the Cinebench. Let me find it. Documents, downloads. Can you see how fast this is, guys? Look at look at literally how fast everything is. 
even though the hard drive is slow, everything's fast. Quite literally, everything's quick. Uh, what was I doing? Downloads. Cinebench, Cinebench. Okay, let's get this sorted out. So the CPU is definitely made it future proof now for at least another couple of years. Uh, past that, so I'd say about another seven years would be fine on this CPU and this build basically. If you haven't watched my last video, go watch that. It's uh, the mystery PC, which is what this is. So yeah, and the hard drive is playing up again because it's constantly in use and slows down the whole system. I don't like that. I'll get back to you when it starts. But yeah, as you can see, there's 0% CPU usage. That's how good the CPU is. That's how it should be. Like, literally nothing. No CPU usage at all. That's how good the CPU is. I like that. Constantly like that. Ah, uh, guys, it's kept our CPU rank from before. i3 CPU 550. 236. Let's see if we can beat that. We'll do CPU test. Let's see if we can beat that guys, 214. So that's two boss we need to beat. Wow, we, I can already tell it's faster. So what it's doing is uh, making these uh, frames, like uh, rendering them. I, I can already tell it's way faster. So yeah, it's gonna be rapid. That score should be, I don't know. Do you reckon it'll be the i7? Nah. I reckon it'll be in the region of 300 at best, 300 and something. If it beats the i7, I'll be, I'll be bloody hell, not a chance. Well, let's see, we can all hope. Oh my god. Okay, so I got 332 cine benchmarks, which is 100 marks better than our old one. And it's pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. It's close. It's quite decent to be fair. I'm gonna put on the GPU one now and have a look what we can do with that. Let me switch over to the GPU ranking, OpenGL. So let's see if the 1030, which was 52.54 frames per second, because it has a bit more CPU power now to give it more bandwidth, I guess. Let's see if we can manage, because you'll have more data running to it. So let's see if we can manage with this, get a higher FPS. Hi right, guys, the scores are in. It's actually got quite a big difference now. I don't know if you can see that. 59.02 FPS. So as you can see, it's gone up two ranks. It didn't just beat our one, he annihilated it. So it's very close to the GTX 460 with the i7 or something. I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. Mm. Yeah, i7, bloody hell guys with the GTX 460, which is miles better than this. So it was very close to that. Can you see how close it was with the frames? So this system is very good for gaming, as you can tell. Very budget, but very good. I like it. Not bad. So yeah, beat that A ATI Radeon, which has an Intel Xeon. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty decent. Yeah. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to my channel if you're new, uh, if you want to see more videos on this PC let me know, I'll make some random videos for you wherever you like, and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.